Good morning. I'm getting ready for class right now. I woke up at 6 a.m. today. Couldn't fall back asleep. I went to bed around 10 p.m. yesterday, which... Who am I? I really want to say that I should do that more often, but we all know that's not really gonna happen. So I'm not even gonna try and set a goal right now. I made myself a coffee. I don't know why, but every week, like I drink almond milk and every week the last bit of my almond milk gets rotten. I mean, I know you're not supposed to have it open for maybe about a week. And the thing with me is that I cannot smell things really well. Like I cannot detest things. I'm always unsure. Like I take a sip and I'm like, I don't know and then I take more sips like two or three more sips and in the end I throw it out anyway because I'm paranoid and also it is rotten I do ask like people around me then and they're all like why the fuck are you drinking that but I did have some fresh almond milk to make a new coffee so and I also cut my bangs yesterday in like dimmed light and I woke up this morning looked at myself in the mirror and thought like oh my god why did I do that so I tried to fix it a little it's better we're definitely I, I would say this is like a... what is it called? Is it baby bangs? I feel like that's not it, but I really can come up with what it's... Never mind. And definitely they're short. So someone needs to take scissors away from me for a little now. Even though I love it. I love a good short bang. It's been a really interesting morning. <laughs> I'm getting ready now. I have a little class. I'm gonna use some spring-like blushes. I usually, over winter time, I use the... I think it's called Eve, yeah, Glossier Eve blush. That's like my go-to, I love a good dark blush. It's getting a little spring-like, so we're gonna use... I love the Benetint. It's a good basic, I might do that. I also have Hope by Rare Beauty, but I think I'm gonna do the Benetint one. I have like 10 minutes once again. I've been awake for hours at this point and still I'm rushing in the last 10 minutes. just got out of class it was a good one it was a very short one so very glad i'm out it's so beautiful outside i want to go to a thrift store because there's a little sale going on this week so i thought maybe i'll find something cute i shouldn't go i should start like decluttering my space but i just keep buying stuff but it's a sale so i feel like i'd i'd miss out if i don't go so maybe i'll find something cute maybe not I just love going to a thrift store and I want to pop by a bookstore because I don't know I finished Down the Drain by Julia Fox a few days ago and I haven't picked up a new book yet I need to get new books but I don't know what to get usually I like to see maybe if I don't know what to read I usually like to see what's in right now but I can't figure out what's in at the moment what what's the best seller for the for the girl is right now I don't know what we're reading I know Akatar has been a thing for a few months, but I don't really like fantasy books. I know, sorry. Oh my god, there's a whole train of tourists just like, I don't know if you can see it. But I don't know, I want to know if there's something new. And then I would like try and get it probably online because sadly books are a lot cheaper online. Or like maybe try and get it second hand. There's a lot of online stores where I get it second hand. So I might do that because they're way too expensive at the bookstore. That's the plan. Because it's so beautiful, I don't want to go straight home. Otherwise, I'll probably just lay in bed. So we're just gonna walk around, go to the thrift store, and I don't know. Also, I posted a TikTok. I want to be a TikTok girly so bad. Can we talk about this? I want to be a TikTok girly so bad. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to film a TikTok. I always feel so a embarrassed, but also it's just, I don't know how to do it. How, how do I put something in such a short amount of time? It's bad. My TikToks are really bad, but I posted one, that's all that matters. What matters is just to get over that first and then we'll see where we go with that. Because there's so many cute, like, I wanna share my outfits and stuff on TikTok and I have ideas. If you have tips, let me know. Oh, and also let me know what you're reading because I really need new books. Like, I can't keep having like two books and then like go into this whole not reading for a week or two again because I keep losing my flow. So what are we reading? How do we turn into a TikTok girly? Okay, I'm gonna get going now.
to thrifting has been very unsuccessful. I found some cute pieces, but they were just not worth how much they were. So I left them behind, but there's a flea market this weekend. So I'm not losing hope that we might thrift something this week. I'm with my boyfriend right now. If, I don't think I mentioned that. And we got some baked goods. We got a piece of vegan banana bread that I once had from this bakery. And ever since I've been walking by it, I didn't have it. I got it when I had my first like job interview for something I really wanted to be. And I didn't get the job, obviously it was to be a gallerist. So that reminds me of that always. But ever since I've been thinking about it. And we got a croissant cookie. Crookie. A crookie. I think a crookie is like a croissant cookie, but I'm not sure. I've been seeing it everywhere, so we had to try it. So we're gonna enjoy this since we didn't buy, since we couldn't thrift a lot, anything. It should be illegal to have class on a Saturday. Okay, let alone on a Saturday, but at 9 a.m. And like for the whole day, I have till like 5 p.m. maybe. I hope we're like gonna end the class sooner, but I already missed the train I would make it with on time. So this is me protesting. Why did I say it like that? This is me protesting. Actually, it's not... <laughs> I'm, I missed it because of the Lana Del Rey Coachella live stream. Oh my god, I love that woman so much and I'm gonna be late for class a little but it's all in the spirit of Lana Del Rey so Okay, I'm not gonna turn this into a whole Lana Del Rey I'm gonna miss my next train if I don't get going right now so Let's go guys, let's go to class <laughs> Saturday morning I've been home from class for almost three hours at this point. It's almost 8 p.m. I haven't done anything. I've been literally in this position right here in bed. I don't know what it is about having class on Saturdays, but I'm so exhausted. I cannot function properly, but actually it was fun. I had coaching. If you don't know, I study psychology in my master's. I'm supposed to finish halfway through next year, so I'm kind of in my last year of it. I don't like psychology. I like the knowledge of it and I like the study of it. I don't like being a clinical psychologist. I don't want to work in that field. I don't see myself there. And in Austria it's also a lot more difficult. I don't want to get into that, but there's a lot more to this education than just studying it at a university. I am studying a clinical psychologist's master's and some classes of business psychology. I don't know if you want to hear about why I'm doing all that, but that's a whole different topic. Coaching is one of my business classes that I'm taking. It's actually a field that I can't see myself in. Today, we had to like play out a scenario of being like a coach and a coachee, so like the client. And we just got picked out. Like, we're just a small group. We're not, we're not even 10 people and we're just girls. We got picked out to like be the client and the client tea and perform this in front of the like all the others. It was so fast paced and all of a sudden I was a client and I was supposed to make a problem out and I thought, since I'm here, let's take a real problem. I had the opportunity, free coaching, if you will. So the problem that I had as a client was that I am very indecisive and that I never feel confident in my decisions. But I was like, that's fine. It's such a fun little thing I can bring up, which is true about me. I am immensely indecisive. This thing turned into a whole existential question for me and the person that acted as the coach narrowed it down to it being maybe that I am not in an environment I feel confident in and that all the decisions are decisions that I maybe don't even like making because I don't like what I'm doing. So I had to admit in front of the whole class, yeah, actually I am doing a master's that I don't like. It was fine because it was all girls and it's a very safe space. Hours later, the prof came to me and really asked me like further about it. She was like, is it true that you don't like your master's? Like that you're studying something that you don't even want to do? And I, I think she was really trying to just 
helped me in that moment i had that realization for me like myself and i had to share it with the room because that's the whole point of it so that was a learning point you know actually it was fun and also the prof was so so nice she like told me also about how she didn't like start knew immediately that she wanted to do this what she's doing and how she did something completely different before that and there's so much time like that i have so much time and it's okay to go a completely different path she was so nice about it yeah that was something today and i don't really think i will leave my bed i think i'll just watch a movie Roll it. that might be the kindest thing anybody has said to me in months kind yep kind i just rushed for my life it's sunday so sunday's off of flea market since the weather is so nice today, I couldn't not like go to a flea market. And I was really rushing because this morning, I've been up for a while actually, it's 11 a.m. now, but I have been working on some stuff and just being in bed. So I kind of lost track of time and I picked up whatever I had laying around and put it on. And anytime I go to a flea market, especially on Sundays, I like to wear a tank top and something just very comfortable because it's such a comfort place. But then there are such well-dressed people at the flea market and I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna think, oh my god, what the fuck is she wearing? I feel like today it's cute. I don't, does anyone else have that? Like anytime I wear something like a chill fit, like a comfy fit, like I don't care whatever I'm wearing like fit, I see the coolest people ever and then I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck do they have? To, like what the fuck are they thinking about me now? Probably nothing, but I'm an overthinker, so, and I have anxiety. We made it in time. I'm gonna catch my train and then we're gonna go, I think we're going to two flea markets actually if we catch the one that's still going on right now but they're very close to each other so two in one. That's That's been my Sunday morning. It's gonna be really hot today, like about 30 degrees. Last hot day it's about to like drop for the next week again but so we gotta make use of this. Okay let's go and let's hope that we find something cute. It's almost 11 p.m. I don't know what we did today, like we just laid around at the park, got some food, but it flew by, like the whole day flew by. I know the one flea market we went to, they just changed the location and I went to the new location for the first time. It's the Wild Invest. If you're ever in Vienna, that's my favorite flea market, probably I love the people there. But the new location is a lot bigger than the old one. I really appreciated how small it was and how you had a good overview this one not so much to be fair it was very overwhelming but it was so fun in the end i did get two pieces i got this shirt this is a very me shirt especially lately i i don't know if you can see it has a little glitter like this part of like glitters i have a shirt that's similar to this one that like glitters i wear it all the time i love it i feel like it fits with so many things and it reminds me of like stuff i wore as a child so i just had to get it it fits so nicely and the other thing i got are these pants i don't know if you can see properly but they're like y2k cargo pants they're by bdg if anyone's interested i don't even own anything white like white pad i don't have white pads and i paid for both in total five euros which is a steal gonna get bed ready soon i think just because it's a Sunday evening. I have classes tomorrow. Um, and yeah, then I'll go to sleep. <laughs>